Beloved, welcome back to the homestead. Today we've got a fun project. I'm gonna teach you how to deal with a stump. You can take care of it yourself without hiring an expensive stump grinder, as long as you have a chainsaw and some basic tools. And then we'll turn it into the famous Joe Salatin wood mushroom. This is a ponderosa pine, rotten here, reasonably solid, yeah, really solid over here. I like to start by, you wanna grub out around the soil around the base, the bowl as we call it here. If you can use a garden hose, this is a wildland firefighting rhino. This is a very popular trenching tool for hand crews and it's ideally suited for this because we're gonna have to get our bar close to the ground and we don't want it picking up dirt because there's that's the quickest way to dull a, a chain and we'll be over here filing all day. All right, gentlemen, let's get our safety gear on. Proho is definitely a believer in chaps, especially when the wife is looking on. We'll grab a couple wedges. When you buy chainsaw chaps, make sure you get some. Oh, I got them in there. Get some that have the cargo pocket. It's really handy to have an extra wedge. Did you see what happened? This is one of the terrible flaws in the still design is these caps. I have done this, I'll bet I've done this a dozen times where I, I just check the oil and then you put the cap back on, which you think is right, only for it to fall off. Now this will happen with fuel as well, so it's dangerous. I, I, think, I don't know why we have to go away from the old screw caps and have to have this nonsense. I can't say I understand it now. I mean, goodness, do I want to solve the Rubik's Cube every time I refuel my saw? Okay, is that on? How, how would you know?
Jack, I'll spare you the obvious dad joke. Hanging around? Yeah. I wasn't going to go there. So Jack is, uh, well, let me show you what Jack's doing. Jack has been tasked with climbing up this ponderosa and cutting that big dead, where is that? That big dead branch right there, which is about 40 feet up. So I told him to put a climbing harness on. So we'll see how that works out. It's a, a filthy ponderosa, which is, well, they're not very fun to climb. The branches are coarse and not well spaced and they're just difficult trees to work in. Oh! How was that? Well, down. <laughs> hey, get that ugly one right there where you're sitting, too. That is a gnarled up old branch. This ponderosa is just a hateful tree. Yeah, you got it. Uh, now the fun part, Jack, you get to clean this all up. Take it over to the burn pile.
What do you think, gentlemen? A lot better, huh? That's the stump mushroom. Just knocking those edges off makes it look a lot better. It rolls into the topsoil a whole lot better. I will uh, plant some trees around here. These stumps are a beautiful incubator for baby trees because of the roots and you know breaking up the soil like we spoke of. And this will be right kind of in the center of the garden. So let me know what you think we should plant right here. If I don't have it or can't find it, I'll go get it. What should we put in the very center of the new forest around here, around this old pine tree?